Hello and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we've got a Beneteau Antares 8 for sale and we wanna show you a video. Now, if you look around here in Torquay, there are lots of boats very similar to this and I'm gonna take the camera from Nathan and show you why these are so popular. So, if I quickly just take that GoPro from Nathan, this is a Beneteau. So there are two really main players in this market. You've got Beneteau and Juno. Others are out there, but the Beneteau and Juno really have this market fairly well covered. So this is a 2019 Antares 8, so with a 200 horsepower Suzuki outboard. As you can see, it's a very gray afternoon, very gray afternoon here. So everything looks a bit sad in this weather. However, this boat shows very nicely. It's very clean, it's very tidy, and we're looking forward to showing you all around the boat. So start here on the port side. If I just bring the camera down a bit here, you can see there's no signs of any damage on board there. There's no real marks on there. So she looks in good order that from that perspective. You've got the rail, which comes all the way around up to the bow here. Um, the bow area itself is all covered in non-slip, so if you are accessing the bow, it's fairly safe to do so. The boat's got an anchor, so I believe, is that a Danforth anchor? If I'm not correct, correct me in my comments. You've got an electric anchor winch, it's a Lumar electric anchor winch with a remote control there for that, and it's a, looking at it, it's an anchor chain and rope, but that's all electric, so I guess you can control that from here using that remote or up at helm, but stay, keep watching, we'll go and see if we can do that. Starboard side now, I did get my sides mixed up the other day. If you watch our channel, which boat did I get my sides mixed up on? And it was a pure accident, um, and I did correct myself later in the video, but um, yeah, go and check that one out. Starboard side here, again, just like the port side, all in good order. She's tied up nicely on this berth. Got um, obviously bow and stern lines and spring lines, but it's all good. She's not covered in mare bird's mess, which some of the boats here are this time of year. So she presents nicely. And then this one's got the rear camber cover pack. So you can see here, we've got the rear camber covers on. I've rolled up a, a section to show you on board. But if you are accessing the side decks, you would do that from the zip here, walk forward, see the Beneteau branding there. If I just come slightly further back, see here, very sort of normal scenario. So this type of boat client might consider, well, how are we gonna get on board? How easy is it? So we're walking down the pontoon, very straightforward. You can see here, I can just step very easily onto that bathing platform. And once I'm on the bathing platform, I can then come into the camper cover and I'm in this aft cockpit area. The aft cockpit, like I say, it's got the camper cover pack, so you've got lots of natural light coming through the vinyl screens there. But as well as that, you've got this nice wraparound table. So you've got a teak table here, and then you've got seating facing aft, and then down the port side, and then actually on that transom there as well, stern there. Now, the engine's in the trim position at the moment. And what I wanted to do that is just to show you the advantage of an outboard, because obviously in that position, it's trimmed up, it's completely out of the way. Great, so very low maintenance. If the outboard was down, you can actually then push this seat slightly further back. So if you can just see that, you have to bring the seat forward in order to trim the engine. But if you wanted to, when the engine's down, you can actually push that rear seat six or 12 inches further back and give you that bit more room. Talking of room, huge locker here underneath the floor. I'm gonna embarrass myself here. Oh, I can do it, it's not too bad. Got a massive locker there on the floor. Got an extra fender in there. That's great for storing some kit. And then you can see there, you've got your table um, on its leg. There is, I believe, um, some storage underneath here as well. So if I just lift up that cushion, you can see so even more fenders. So you've got storage underneath there and storage underneath that one there as well. Coming into the cabin itself, again, you've got lots of space in here. You step down slightly here. So once you step down, you've got lots of head height. There really is huge amounts of head height here. You've got another table on the port side with a backrest and a seat base. The co-pilot seat at the moment is facing forward. Now this backrest can actually be lifted up, spun around, and then, you can actually put that back in there. And I actually did that one-handed, so you can see how super easy that is. There's some storage down there, tucked away in the port side there, and then a bit more sort of easier to hand storage. And once that's facing aft, you've got then two sort of seats around the table itself. It's a great place for having lunch or whatever. Talking of lunch, coffee, you've got a gas stove on the starboard side. All very straightforward, all very simple. That's what's great about these. They're just really straightforward, really easy to use. Underneath here, it's, you've got a, another locker. And then you can see you've got a nice um, fridge here as well. Batteries are on, so the lights come on for that. I think it's all nice and clean and tidy. Batteries themselves are located, uh, battery switches are located in this locker here. So very French, you can see here you've got your negative and you've got your anchor uh, bow thruster there. Sorry, anchor battery, and then you've got your main battery switch there. So all very straightforward, very easy to understand. Your hook up here, so that's your fuel key. So that's the little um, special fuel key to open the fuel filler outside. 
You might spot up here you've got fusion speakers. So the flip has got our stereo, FM stereo. So you can see that tucked up here at the helm. There is a Bluetooth option on that. So if you wanted to link up your phone or an iPad, you could. Boat's got a Garmin touchscreen plotter. Really nice to use. You can see where the boat's been. It's been out, where's it been? Let's have a look. Been out to Berry Head a couple of times. Doesn't like it's been any further than Berry Head. So we've done Berry Head. We've been round to uh, Babacombe. So not very far at all. And then you've got your Suzuki control screen here. Some battery switches down here. So this one will turn off these electric items at the dash if I turn that one off. Water pump. There's that anchor control unit I mentioned earlier for controlling the anchor winch up and down. Window wipers. Oh, shouldn't have done that. There we go. Window wiper on. And then you've got windscreen wash as well. And uh, bilge pumps. It's also has bilge pumps, but uh, manual override. Engine wise, you've like I say, you've got Suzuki 200 horsepower outboard. The control unit for this is mounted on the side here, so you've got a control unit for that. Up and down on the uh, outboard itself. And then this has got the digital start stop system, so button to start stop. You can still start on the key, but you've also got a button to start and stop there as well. DSC VHF radio tucked up here, as with a bow thruster. So this type of boat with a bow thruster makes manoeuvring super, super easy. Now what we might do is next week when we've got a bit of better weather, we'll get the drone in the sky and we'll do another bit of video just how to manoeuvre this type of boat with a single engine and a bow thruster. Tucked up here on the top here is a couple of 12 volt connectors. So you've got a 12 volt charger there and there's also a USB input there as well. And that links back probably, I'd imagine, to the Fusion. Now let's look at accommodation. So this boat isn't huge on accommodation. It's really designed for day work. However, if you wanted to stay on board for two of you, you could. There's a couple of infill sections here. All the cushions nicely packed away for winter. You can see they're all in great condition. And you've also got the Beneteau original bag there. So these infills would fill in this area. And once that's done, you could then sleep there. And then in here, you've actually got a proper toilet. So you've got a seawater uh, manual operated toilet. But all, again, going back to what I said, very, very straightforward, keeping it simple. But that's a good size toilet for the size of boat, meaning that if you are out for the day, you've got the ability to use a WC, which is great. Visibility wise, you can see through that big central windscreen, no mullions there, really, really good visibility looking forward. So if you've not had a boat like this before, or you're going to be, again, I always say using these light handed. Often we see people coming to use these and they're on their own um, or with a, a crew that doesn't want to help too much because they just want to sit and enjoy. And that's fine. You could actually operate this boat quite confidently on your own. You've got this window here starboard side so that's huge actually it's a good size so that goes right back like that so you could easily communicate to dock keys on the key or whatever you wanted to do and i can easily i could actually hook i could i reckon i could actually hook a line from that window if you were here with a line i reckon if you were quick enough you could do that maybe maybe we should try that in our video see if we can do it from the window take you back out now through the half cockpit you've got a little transom gate there a couple of rod holders because if you are going to use this boat you've got the ability to do a bit of fishing, a couple of rod holders there, which is nice to see. Yeah, I'm impressed. For the money, this is a lot of boat, in great condition. Owner's just not using it anymore, so just decided he wants to sell it and move on to different things. She's on our website, so full details for this boat are gonna be in the description below. So head over to onemarine.co.uk and have a look at what you can see on there. If you've got any questions, or you'd like to come down and talk about a viewing, how to get a berth for this boat, how to get lessons for this boat, the etiquette involved with boating, let us know. We can help you with all of that. That's what we're here for. So please do keep watching, keep subscribing, keep commenting, and keep giving us a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. And I'm going to say a goodbye, me and Nathan, from a very grey afternoon here in Torquay. But the sun always can't shine. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.